guys, it is Avery here, and welcome back to another video today. And today we are going to be playing the Game Development Corporation. So yeah, guys, this might be a little bit new to my channel for some of the viewers. But, just in case you guys don't know how to play the game, don't skip. Welcome to Game, De game Development Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company. Right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company. Create best-selling games, game fans, and become the leader of the market. Where you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company an end. Hmm. There, I always have this guy, I don't know why. Let's just change his shirt. I want a t-shirt. You don't know what you get. Player. As usual, we are going to name me Sammy. I know, not very fair. Yeah, Sammy. I know, I'm not very creative. And... As usual, again, jam production. Since you have played this game before, you can. No, yes, I will like kids because I really suck at it. Um. I still want to play my other game. Congratulations, really sure. you saw your, your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage, and you are the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message, and then click wherever, anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay. And develop new game. For development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create. Give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are in it, uh, I don't know, limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Pick top. So we have business, dungeon, movies, government. Sorry, it's just the gender. And then I would guess RPG. Well, well I'm gonna save dungeon for some other time. But nothing else is good. Oh, the dungeon. <coughs> dungeon runner. And pick platform. Well, this doesn't exist anymore. But let's do it anyways. No. Next. No 2D graphics. Start development. Game development runs through the three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on the areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. While generating game reports, you start to gain insights into the development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. These insights are shown as hints on the development screen. Unless you had turned this option off in the settings. 
The hits range from plus, plus, plus to minus, minus indicate how important an area is for the game. When hits have a question mark at the end, e.g. dot plus, 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 it means you that you had insights from a game in the same gender. But that you are not really sure yet this holds true for the particular gender slash topic combination. Ah, crud. Look right there. Oh, stores and clothes. A lot of gameplay. Not so much engine. Um. Development has now started. Um, uh, well, developing your game, you'll generate game points. So you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released, and increase development time and cost. I really want level design to be up a lot. Okay, uh, no, artificial intelligence, yeah, no. We're not gonna have like any artificial intelligence. Yeah, I just skipped that. Yes, a little bit. complete and press finish button to publish your game but you should only do that once you fix fix not thick sorry you fix the majority of bugs sorry if that sounded like something else guys but I meant F I K uh, <laughs> okay releasing a game without fixing bugs and severally Affect your ratings. So you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you can't afford to rate. Fifteen design points, that's actually a pretty good start. The development of your game has now finished. While developing games you can gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of it, of the experience gained. Release game! It is now complete and will be handed off to the publisher. We should see reviews and sales coming in the game soon. Now we just wait. Okay. First reviews of your- okay. Pretty good! I see tens in there! Very enjoyable! Very good! Screw you! After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points, as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. Enter a game report, close this message, and click, then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Now I actually know how to do all of this. So generate game report. 
seven seven point seventy five. If we just didn't make one little tiny mistake, we could have gotten an A. Game Productions, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Dungeon Runner. Yeah, I did. The game received favorable views. With such a great, good store, Game Productions are sure to gain fans quick. Dungeon Runner sold 5,301 units in its first week on the market. We made it in the charts at t number 20. That's awesome! Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Dungeon Runner was so successful that now we have 35 fans. Ew, I need to make a sequel at some point. Ghost release analyzes analysis of Dungeon Runner is complete and we got the following results. Dungeon and RPG is a great combination. So that seems to not be very important for this type of game. Game reports are a great way to get more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's an idea to look at the research menu. Open the research menu, close this message, and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Well, research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Hint, <laughs> try to develop games with different topics and gender combinations for a slight research piece. I was about to go zombie, but I was like, oh wait, I just did an RPG. If I do another RPG, then I won't get as much fans. Dungeon Runner has a GJ company of sales of the record over 10,000 units. Oh, wow. This is an important milestone in the history of Jam Productions. Wow, rank 33. That's pretty good for a start. I'm pretty sure that I've never done this good on my starts. So yeah, guys. This is probably season 1. We're gonna take a break once we get in our next office. And that break would be the season break. So the first season won't be very long, but the second, that'll be long. So yeah, it's harder to get this. The more farther you go, the harder it gets. Dungeon Runner is now off the market. Sold 18,542 units, generating 1,000. 129,837 in sales. So. Oh, perfect! That's just perfect, but I'm gonna save that for the Ninvento. Which is the Nintendo. I know it's hilarious, they read it face. I like the play system and the PlayStation. Yeah, successfully research a new topic. Racing. So for now, yeah, I don't care. It's going off. Um, develop new game. So pick a topic and it'll be comedy. Like genre. Go screw yourself. Um, a racing action game. Pick platform PC. Racing. Right. Oh yeah. It's gonna be 
Hey guys, so um, you can get this game on Steam if you want. This game is on Steam. Crud, really? Again? Oh. But in racing games, you won't even need any story and quests. What the heck's my problem? I was about to make a giant mistake right there. Dialogues, ho ho ho, artificial intelligence. Well, oh yeah, this does have a question mark. Once I know this video, I might need to read it either. Now when you first play this game, it's initially already on full screen, but to record my video, I need it off the world screen. So world design, that should be good enough. Sound. That should be good. You what? Should put this down. Should put this down. I should tell you how much percent there's left. That would actually be pretty useful. I hope they have that in the next update. Oh no, I'm not doing so good with my design and techno well, technology, I'm doing a lot more better. Not so much with design. According to rumors, the Japanese company in Invento, I told you guys, is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. The Invento is known for the widely successful arcade game Donkey Kong, or Dinky King, oh my god. Gosh, that sounds so weird. <sighs> Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what the Nintendo will deliver. Now we will be uh, making the Nintendo games. Okay, guys. And now all I'm doing is just freaking adding bugs. Did better on technology, not very much for um, design. So you actually need a lot of technology for a better gameplay, but a lot of um, design for um, better looks. Now I like having them both balanced out. One time I actually got all 10s on one of my games, and I was like, oh my god. I was amazed. Our reviews in it for a newly released game, Racing Runners came in. Good game. Mm -hmm. I see some 10s in there. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it almost turned into a 6. They focus on artificial intelligence through this game very well. Go screw yourself again! All games are just a big fat jerk to me. And like on top of my games I get 10, 10, 10, 9. Oh my god, it's annoying. Like, oh my god, all games. Sometimes it's the guy above all games. The Invento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES early next year. The console features cartridge based games and a uniquely designed controller. Uniquely, I mean. Generate game report. Racing gun. I need to save the con comedy game. Ghost release analysis of racing runners in play. We have the following results. Story slash quest series should not be very important for this type of game. That must have been the problem. Okay. 
Research, please. Um, new topic. Okay, so, mystery. Yeah, let's do mystery. Agent Runners is now off the market. It sold 19,091 units generating 133,672 in sales. Well, guys, I guess this is it for today's Season 1, Episode 1. We created two games, and yeah. Now let's just go. Whoa! Uh, hmm. Next time, we will be trying to make an adventure game, and maybe a comedy game. Once casual comes out, I don't know when casual gets out, whatever that is. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I will be seeing you guys next time. And by next time, today the new game platform, TES by Nintendo has been released. Guys, tomorrow? Wait, no, not tomorrow. Next week, because it's Monday. So, yeah. Um... So yeah, this is actually replacing custom NPCs boss battles and stuff like that. Yes, yeah, so we're going to take a break in custom NPCs boss battles as well. So if you're new to this channel because this is a whole brand new game, it's a whole new game. So make sure you guys go to check out the game on Steam by Greenheart Games. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.